Hello and Real welcome show. to the Real Show, series two, episode two. We're back. We're back on the air after another week of, of not being on the air. We're yeah. on the air. <laughs> My dad's joke of the week. I tell you what, to start off the real show, if this joke gets a laugh, it's going to be a great show. If it falls dead, the show's going to be shit. We may as well just end it. End it now. Okay, just started going out with anorexic twins. Two birds, one stone. Okay! (laughs) See ya! (laughs) See you later, guys. It's been a good show. As you know, I really, you know, one of the things I've mentioned before is I would love to eat a pussy out on air. I've said that to you before. <laughs> <and> I've, <coughs> we have genuinely, guys, this has been brought up before. Um, and almost Marcus, Marcus's idea for it was that he would eat eat the pussy out um, and then effectively review it live. Yeah, this is idea. yeah, this is what it's good. Taste, yeah. Senses. But now I found out someone else has done it. All right. Interesting really? radio. You know Bubba the Love Sponge, big time radio guy in America, yeah. He ate a pussy out live on air. <laughs> got sacked obviously. Um but I thought of a new twist. Uh, a talent contest to find the tastiest pussy. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Tasty. We'll call it Great British Box Off. <laughs> yeah? Are we up for that? Um, I've heard they're looking for a new... Uh, you know, I'll I'm, be a judge. I'm fine. I'm fine with that one, to be fair. Right, so Great British Box Off will be here next week, Send ladies your and gentlemen. applications into info. Do you want your pussy... Do you think that you've got a tasty pussy at home? Please text in. Yeah? Because how I'd many, love to lick how it. How many girls think that they have a tasty pussy? I don't know. Maybe lads have said, ooh, your pussy is sublime. Surely they must know that they are lying. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, similar idea, Barry. Mm. It's called a close shave. I <laughs> shave a pussy on air. <laughs> and then eat it? No, no, just, just shave. Just shave it. So we've got to have... Maybe two. I could shave them before the Great British box off. Yeah, That'd be nice. Sure about that one. Mm, might take a while. Pen. Yeah, it might. Yeah, it's a, you would might make slice a mess. It a bit. Uh, I don't want blood on my uh, vagina, mouth. Um, <laughs> following the fanny theme, Barry. <laughs> following with the vagina theme. Okay, here we go. This one's a good one. <clears throat> we get girls in here that are riddled with STDs, right? And we have to guess by the smell and look of their symptoms. What STD they have? What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we could go another way with it. How? All right, just generally diseases. All oh, right, guess the disease. Guess the disease. Now nah, we've what got to be got? dirty. What have you <laughs> got? <laughs> Chlamydia. Yeah, but we what need the girls got? naked, Barry. Otherwise, what's the point? Well, what is the point? Exactly. And you lick them out, presumably. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Now, you're in a monogamous, serious relationship, so you can't really be involved in this next pitch, Baz. Um, I don't think I've been able to be involved <laughs> in any of the ones before that either, mate. I mean, I don't think she'd have a problem if you shaved a puss, would she? It's hygiene. It's, it's on It's on the line, isn't it, really? It's hygiene. I you're mean, not it's, inserting. It's you're not just going insert- over the, no, but... the slit. <laughs> yeah? Um... <laughs> Uh, but this is the last idea. Okay. I line up three gorgeous women, and they all take it in turns to suck me off. <laughs> and I decide who's I mean, best. There's, I'm think, noticing a the theme here. I think the audience would l- really want to hear that. Barry. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> right with, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we're we back are. with Barry's tale. So I'm going to tell you about my week. This well, is what I've been up to. Oh, great. Um, so, I remember it quite well. It was a glorious day because I was starting my new job at my father's knob polishing firm. I arrived at the front desk to be handed a dull knob. <laughs> You're going to need plenty of polish, son, my father said. I wanted that knob gleaming. Trust me, Dad. I know how to work a knob. <laughs> If you know what I mean, I replied. Barry. <laughs> I sat at my desk and proceeded to viciously rub my knob. 
Jesus. With countless amounts of lubricants. After ten minutes of wrestling the grime off the knob, <laughs> it was done. I picked it up and handed it to my dad. Careful, dad, I said. This is the most slippery knob I have ever, <laughs> I have ever had the pleasure of handling. Don't worry, son. <laughs> if I had a pound for every slippery, slippery <coughs> knob I've rubbed, we wouldn't have to hunt for our dinner. <laughs> He replied. Oh. I mean, I live, I live in poverty. <laughs> I looked at my father with a sense of achievement and stood proud as he examined my knob, up close and personal. Impressive, he said. I know, I replied. I've learned from the best. My dad leant back in his chair and said, All I ever wanted is for you to be able to handle a knob as well as your old man. Dad, I said. (laughs) I continue. I could knob you under the table. (laughs) Careful, son, he replied. The last man that challenged me to a knob off... (laughs) Go on. ...ended up with a sprained wrist. (laughs) Jesus. Me being the cocky, confident guy that I am, I accepted the challenge. So he pulls out a fresh knob and says, Ready, steady... Knob off. <laughs> Before I knew it, my father was... R- <laughs> Me and my father were rubbing our knobs until the sun went down. What a day. It's amazing how close I feel to him after an afternoon full of knobs. Wow. But I can safely say that my dad is the best knob handling technique. What? Has the best knob handling... <laughs> knob... <laughs> has the best... Knob handling technique. This side of the equator. <laughs> Jesus, strong words. I love my knob handling, Dad. There, I said it. Until next time, this has been Barry's Tale. Nice one, Barry. You got a couple of knobs stuck in your mouth on that one, didn't you? Yeah, handled them well. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so, good memories with your dad there. Uh, do you feel closer to him after that experience? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's always had a knob handling, a knob polishing factory yeah yeah um uh, sorts of so, facility so why have you never worked there before did you never fancy a knob just fa- never fancied a knob really but now now i've tried it it's like wow it's can't, like any knob come at me can't wait for more yeah you know, more knobs more knobs <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a new jingle mm. an interview with a muslim it's a Muslim, don't be scared now. It's just a Muslim, they're not all that bad. Whoa, what's that? ISIS. Okay, we are joined okay, today okay. in the studio by Real Show Regular, Mr. Muzzy. Yo. Mr. Muzzy, how are you today? By, by Real Show Regular, of course. I mean, he's been... This Once, is his second time. Third time. Second appearance. Third time? Third, third time. Or third time yeah. sitting, second time appearance, I'd say. Um... Let's let's get I'm past not, it. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've asked you into the studio today because I personally think it's very important for the audience to experience different cultures. Right. Yes. Um, okay. So now, considering you're necking alcohol, I'm assuming that you're not that strict on religion. Oh, it's non-alcoholic alcohol, of course. Oh, right, of yeah. course, yeah. Uh, you've been subjected to racism all your life, really. <laughs> it has been quite tragic for you because you are a minority. Yeah. Um, what do you say to the people who call you dirty smelly scum or assume that you're a terrorist you mean to you jesus i mean to anyone who says it mainly you though i mean whoever says yeah. it what are you going to say to them uh well that's, I, <laughs> <laughs> I tend to let it slide it doesn't bother me so someone really. comes up to you in the right. street mm. okay says what uh, i'll just read the line again onto my van. yeah dirty smelly scum the shouting at you as you're walking down the street. Stop trying to get on my my lorry. I get fined if I come over to Britain with what? you on it. <laughs> so what would you say to that man? Uh, what do well, you say to him? What can I say? I mean, he's right. I mean, mm, but it's what I do. But you got to go, man. You can't blame me for trying. I mean, obviously, I want his job. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, we all want. I want to be a lorry driver. That's true. And that's why I'm s- jumping onto the back. You've of wanted that since day one. I mean, since you just 
That's effectively work experience, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, I'll get to know the ins that, and outs of the you're lorry. that lorry experience. Yeah, and yeah. Over, over, over a day or so, you might have ten, ten good minutes on a lorry. Well, I mean, yeah, it's... I'm in there. It's a dream come true. <laughs> I've got to wait hours on end. Unrelated question. <laughs> in, um, the in the jungle. In the jungle. Just steering off a bit. Where were you September 11th, 2001? Um... It's one of those days that everyone seems to remember where they were. Yeah. So I was just wondering where you were. Uh, it's a bit hazy for me. Mm. Um, Interesting, Barry. <laughs> a lot of smoke. I couldn't see much. No. Um, yeah, very sweaty. Mm. Yeah, I was quite nervous on that day. Why? Did uh, you have a things were going on? Important doing, test. Yeah. Doing something new. <laughs> it was new. It was new. You know, new experience. Yeah. Um, I mean, we all what, that. Uh, jumping out of a plane or something or. Well, you've got to try it. I think everyone should always jump yeah. out of a plane. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No matter where you land. <laughs> Wherever it goes. <laughs> where be it? Well, I mean, what I find hard to believe was, uh, given such minimal experience, you flew a plane. Well, it's not that hard, you know? You just point mm. it in the direction you want to go and... True. You're like, hit it. Now, yeah. anyway, we're getting sidetracked with racism here, and I really want to get to the hard-hitting cultural questions, Barry. Yeah, we'll just find all out. about the culture. Um, how many times a day, on average, do Muslims pray? Not you, because <laughs> you're not that strict, but, mm. you know, uh, the standard. What's the, well, what's the, the use? Three, well... Is it once? It's, it's morning? For the different... It's different sects, all right? So you've got the Sunni, you've got the Shia. All right, they're the two main ones. Yeah. The different what sets or sects, 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 uh, back in the heyday, I was a Shia. Is that Shia? And what, what, do yeah, what do you think of what do you think of Sunnis then? Are they um, wrong? They're wrong. Disgusting. We should they should all be killed. Oh, now your dad I'm is assuming <laughs> that they think the same as you. Yeah, yeah. but it's a gang war. It's an out and out riot. You well, have on your hands. I killed three just coming up to yours. Jesus Christ! But that's uh, no skin off your nose. You well, do that every day. It's well, part yeah. of the uh, religion. <laughs> um, your dad is deep religious, as we know. Uh, he is. Have you seen his mat? <laughs> I am familiar with his mat. Does it have a pattern on it? Yeah. Because I imagine it like Aladdin's carpet. Yeah. You know, a bit Aladdin's purple, pa- a bit it snazzy. Wasn't purple. What Wheels. is it? Is it sort of like boring colours? It's. I think it's a dark green. Dark green, oh, dark green with like, then, like sort of white patterns I mean, stuff on it. In terms of cost, what are we talking for a good quality? <laughs> is uh, there brands? Can you get them in Argos? Is there brands? No, no. You just, I don't think they're too expensive. So really. I'm like popping like on 20, Amazon. Twenty quid. Will yeah. they be? Will they be on Amazon? Possibly. Probably. Barry, search it. See uh, how much a prayer <laughs> mat goes for nowadays. I'd I love to. Why not? To be honest, I think Amazon's going to be a great deal anyway. Uh, yeah. I'd love to look at reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Player. I went to hell. <laughs>